What's going on guys? We got the follow-up video for the Chemical Guys Wax and Hyper Protective Dressing. Um, if you guys haven't seen the uh, full review of the Chemical Guys full arsenal kit, uh, head over to the main page, watch that video. This is the an addition to, so in that video I used like three quarters of the kit. There was uh, these two products that I didn't use. Um, I didn't clean the interior, which is for this, and I didn't wax because it was hot as fuck the day I washed the car when I shot that video, so I didn't want to uh, wax in the sun. So uh, now I use these products, and I can give you guys a review on these two in addition to the kit. So we'll start off with the um, Hypercoat Protective Dressing. Um, this is, if you go on their website, this is the G6 Hypercoat Protective Dressing. Um, it says that it has um, a high gloss on it on the website. Um, it definitely does. The gloss is insane. Um, it's not like, you know, you spray it on the dashboard and like where you get like an armor roll and you can actually, it reflects up at you. It's not quite like that. It has the same level of shine, but you're not getting like a reflection uh, through your windshield while you're driving, which is super nice. Um, I absolutely love this product and because it gives me the shine that I want and it doesn't leave any sticky, greasy residue behind. I spray it on, wipe it in, and again, it cleans everything nice. It gives a beautiful shine. I use this on all of the interior pieces from the dashboard to uh, the door panels, the steering wall, the steering column, all that stuff. Wiped everything down in my uh, black truck is all just normal, regular plastic and vinyl, nothing special. And I even use this in my Jeep, which I washed on the main review of the whole Arsenal kit. That car has all leather interior. I even sprayed this all over the leather interior. And it's been about almost two weeks, a week and a half, two weeks. And it still looks like I just shined. Definitely can't complain. Like I said, the main thing is it's not Armor Roll, where Armor Roll always leaves that greasy, nasty residue behind. It just, it's not good. Um, this particular one doesn't really have a smell. It's not chemically, but it doesn't have a scent like majority of the other products. And same thing with the wax uh, as well, um, which is a little surprising, but not a big deal. It does just make it smell clean and fresh in the car. Like I said, you're not getting like a chemical, you know, disgusting smell in your interior, which is super nice. So if you guys want to pick this up, the Hypercoat uh, is available in four ounce for $7.99. Uh, we got a 16 ounce, which I couldn't really get a price on. I believe it was $17. For $16.99, um, a 64 ounce, $34.99, and the gallon for $49.99. Um, a little bit goes a long way with this. Um, you guys can't really see on camera, but the line is right about here. And like I said, I did the full interiors on two cars. It, it does go a long way. It does last, so it's definitely worth the money. Um, I don't think I'll get a gallon of this only because I don't need it. And I'm not going to use all that much product. So when I'm low on this, you know, maybe I'll upgrade to like the 64 ounce, but a 16 ounce will last you. Um, and you won't have a problem. I mean, I have four cars, so I will tend to burn through a lot more product than a lot of other people will. So I buy like the gallons of soap. Um, I'm actually waiting on an order right now uh, for the chemical guys. I'm going to, I ordered more foam soap, um, which I will have a review on that. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, so. Let's dive into the wax. So we got the Butter Wet Wax, Deep Wet Shine. So right here on the bottle, you see Natural uh, Carnauba Wax. It says Cream Wax as an item number. Um, this wax is like, it's almost like um, when you see it in the bottle, if it's been sitting, it's almost like, um, like a putty. Uh, it's very thick. It tells you on the back of the bottle, on the website, everywhere, make sure you shake this up. Uh, extensively before use um, I kind of messed around with the bottle and everything but I'm right about here so a little bit lower than where the actual line is um, it is thick it you know it settles down over time uh, the middle of the bottle is probably like right about here this was the entire truck so I did the a Ram 1500 uh, quad cab uh, with a six foot bed if you want to get into crazy detail um, to show you how much product you're going to use like I said we're right about here and um, I didn't put it on super heavy 
but I didn't put it on thin either. I wasn't shy about using the product. Um, you know, I don't care about, you know, I'm not wasting it or anything, but you know, it's one of those things where like, you know, more wax is not necessarily better, but you need to have that perfect amount on there. But even on the website, just a nice thin coat, uh, let it sit for a minute, let it haze over and you wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. Um, I applied, uh, the butter wax with the, uh, chemical guys, microfiber applicators, like little square blocks. Absolutely beautiful. I've never used one of them before. I've always just waxed with like those round applicators or just putting it on a microfiber cloth and rubbing it in and taking a clean one and wiping it off. Um, so, uh, that's how I did it. It was definitely a big help. I actually it, like can hold the block and wax the car and stuff. So it was nice, uh, for that. If you want to pick up that stuff, that's like a two pack. It's five bucks on their website. And yeah, so, uh, for the wet wax, it is also available in four ounce. I couldn't get you a price on it because, um, they didn't have it in stock on there on the chemical guys website. All these prices are directly from their website. So the 16 ounce bottle is $17.99. The 64 ounce bottle is $39.99 and a full gallon of this is $59.99. So this is something, again, it's a pain in the ass to wax a car. If you guys are anything like me, I don't like waxing cars. It's just a pain in the ass. It's tedious, but it's necessary and you just have to do it. So that's why I tend to go a little heavier with the wax uh, when I do decide to do it. Um, so again, same thing with the with the interior cleaner. Um, I used it uh, approximately two weeks ago, and of course, just like my luck runs, I washed my car for the past two days. It's been raining where I'm at, and all the water is beating off beautifully. Uh, the finish is still uh, good. So I did it about a week ago, and then again for the past two. Two days has been pouring rain, um, and again, it's still beating up nicely on the paint all around the car. I even did the windows, the exterior part of the windows, and the water beads off. I'm driving, and it just beads right off the windshield. You still got to use your wipers, but it's nice to have that beading because when the car is just sitting and getting rained on, all the water beads right off of it, and you get in, and it's pretty much a clean windshield. You just have like little tiny dots across it, but it, it you could definitely see the water... Um, resistant qualities of this wax um you know you can see it you got nice nice bubbles on the paint itself uh they're you know very round again very nitpicky but these are you know extreme details for a product that people are going to be looking for um for these waxes most people they're just going out and buying wax and they're waxing their car and they don't care but uh carnauba wax is known to be some of the best car uh, wax that you could buy uh it's just one of the more higher end, so to speak, waxes that you can get. It came, like I said, all this came into the kit. So I wanted to try all these products individually. I just got the kit and it definitely added uh, to the whole experience of, you know, the chemical guys cleaning process. So, you know, not really scented, but not, it doesn't have a chemically smell. You know, it's almost like, um, I want to say like a banana, you know, almost like a banana type smell or scent to it, which is nice. Um, again, I don't know if that's what they actually put in there. That's just what I'm getting, the aroma off of that. Same thing with the tire dressing. Um, not a banana, just a nice, clean, uh, refreshing inside the car. You know, you know you clean, you know you put the work in to get the interior clean and uh, with the wax. So um, that's basically it for these two products. I'm going to continue to buy more of these products. I I've become a huge fan of Chemical Guys, and I can't wait for my next order to come in and show you guys what I got. So take care. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the fucking like button too. Thank you guys.